In last week's video, I talked about the newest version of Mailer Lite that recently came out. I also mentioned in that previous video that there is there seems to be no native integration between Mailer Lite in Squarespace like there is in Mailer Lite Classic. Now that might seem like a bummer, and I'll admit it is. But me being who I am, I went through the rabbit hole to find the solution and I'm happy to report that I did. All you really have to do is use Zapier. So in this week's tutorial, I'll show you how you can integrate a new version of MailerLite with Squarespace. If you're new around here, my name is Anna Lea and I'm all about helping you create websites and content that converts. So if that's something that you're interested in, definitely hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up so that I know to create more content like this. Let's dig in. Okay, so the first thing that you are going to need to do before you uh, even get started with creating this app, you are going to need a Google Sheet, and it's going to need to it's it will need to be formatted a specific way. So what's important here is that you have the header row, and you want to capture the first name, last name, and email address. So you're going to need to create that header row, which is basically just enter first name, last name, email address. And then you need to delete the rest of the rows that populate the sheet. So once you've created that, just um, go from row two all the way to the bottom. I think the def default is 1000 rows. So just select all of those rows and hit delete. And then uh, your sheet will be ready. Uh, then you're going to want to come over here to Zapier if you don't have an account, uh, create an account, uh, it's free. Uh, you have a free plan that you can use, which gives you basically uh, five zaps, I want to say. Oh, it gives you, that's new. It gives you new unlimited zaps and a thousand, thousand tasks. Okay, so uh, they change their plans frequently. So this is, I guess this is their new free plan. Uh, so what we want to do is you're going to, once you create the Zap account, you're going to click this Create Zap, and then you're going to search for the trigger. In this case, the trigger is going to be Google Sheets, and you want to select Trigger Event to be New Spreadsheet Row. And then you're going to click Continue. You're going to connect your Google Sheets account. Now, mine is already connected, so I'm not going to go through the connection process, but basically it's going to ask you to connect. It's going to pop open a new window and you will be able to grant the permissions to the Zap Zapier there. So I'm going to click continue and then I'm going to choose the spreadsheet and I'm going to choose this one, Sheets um, Google Sheets MailerLite Zip Zap Test, and I'm going to choose sheet one. And then I'm going to click continue and then Zapier is going to test and it's going to tell you that uh, they found a spreadsheet row. So you're going to click continue. Now we're going to add an action step. And for that, we need MailerLite. You want to make sure to select MailerLite and not MailerLite Classic. For the action event, you're going to click create or update subscriber. Click continue. And then you're going to have to sign into your MailerLite account and click login and you're going to choose your account. And then you're going to authorize the connection. And then you're going to click continue. So for the action step, we are going to choose a subscriber group. And in this case, I wanted to go to website roadmap, but you will choose this whichever group you want them to go. And then for the email, you are going to pull the information from the spreadsheet that we just connected. So I'm just going to select email address. And then here you can, for the last name, you can enter the last name. And for the name, you can enter the first name and map the fields like that. And then you're going to click continue. And now Zapier will basically ask you to test the connection. So I'm going to click test and continue. And it's telling me that a subscriber was sent to MailerLite just now. And we can check this really quick. If I go to the MailerLite new version, you can see that I've got I've just gained one new subscriber, and that is the subscriber that I just sent there as a text. And it's if, if you can as you can see, it is right here. So that tells us that the zap is working, and then you can basically turn on the zap. You can give it a name, turn it on, and then the zap will be active. So I'm just going to quickly rename this. 
new Squarespace subscribers to Mailer Light like that. And then the last step that we need to do is you're going to go to your Squarespace website. And I'm here over on one of my demo sites. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to click edit and then I'm going to edit this newsletter form that I have right here. And I'm going to give it a name that tells me what it is. Homepage top. And I'm going to say require name field. And under design, I'm going to choose stack or actually no, I'm going to leave it as float. Uh, let me just move it quickly for demo purposes so that it looks a little better. And under storage, what I'm going to click here is I'm going to disable the Squarespace email campaigns. I'm going to disconnect that and I'm going to choose other storage options. And then I'm going to click connect on Google Drive and I'm going to sign into the account. And once that's connected for the spreadsheet name, I'm going to choose the spreadsheet name that we used in the zap. So it's going to be that one. And then I'm going to click back and I'm going to click save. And then I'm going to pull up an incognito tab to make sure that this works. And I'm going to enter my information. gmail.com and I'm going to click sign up and let's see if we have a new subscriber in our mailer light account and as you can see once we refresh the page the subscriber is in here so that is basically it for the tutorial that is how you can do it what I recommend you to why I recommend you to do it this way because if you were to go to create this um, Zapier for every spreadsheet or every form that and use Zapier to pull forms, Squarespace forms, because you can create, uh, basically, you can set up a Zap so that it pulls your Squarespace, your forms. But if you start creating a lot of content, then each new form would require a new Zap to be connected and you would run out of Zaps pretty quickly. With this, you're basically inserting a ton of different forms, but pointing them to the same spreadsheet. And then that is only re that requires only one zap to be active instead of having 10 different zaps for 10 different forms. Now, if you have multiple freebies that you're offering, then what I would recommend to do is to create a separate spreadsheet for each uh, freebie that you have to offer in the same way that I showed you uh, for this particular walkthrough and then basically just connect co the correct spreadsheets and reduplicate the zap with using the same information and make sure that you point the Squarespace form to the correct spreadsheet and that's it if you have any questions be sure to leave them in the comments below and that's how you can integrate the new version of MailerLite with Squarespace. I hope this tutorial has been helpful. And if you want to find out more about the new, new version of MailerLite, I highly recommend you go check out the video that I posted last week. I'll have that queued up for you somewhere on the screen here. That's it for this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye!